Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Viewer's Choice 2013, The Real People's Hour. Free your mind. All right, it is 10.03 p.m. Friday night, which means it is time for Friday Night Smackdown review. Now, tonight, I must admit, I really enjoyed tonight's episode. It was pretty, it was a pretty uh, action-packed night from start to finish. So, kicking off the show was Miz TV with special guest John Cena. Now, the Miz, of course, wanted to focus on the whole AJ scandal thing. So, he wanted to poke fun at Cena and AJ. And, of course, Cena being Cena would pretty much check back at Miz at every at every stop. Every time Miz took a jab, Cena took a jab. And then as he asked the question of how he really felt about uh, AJ, who should come out, none other than AJ. And before she can really even get a couple of that many sentences out, out comes Dolph Ziggler. Pretty much repeating the same shit he said to her on Monday Night Raw, and even showing a video of it, actually, calling her pathetic, weak, uh, trash, which is really fucked up, by the way. And then out comes that loud mouth of Vicky Guerrero. Oh, my fucking God. So, they bicker, bicker, bicker back and forth. And that pretty much ends Miss TV. All right, first match of the night was the very pissed off Ryback taking on one half of the primetime fairies, Darren Young. This was a smash match. Ryback tore him up. And then after the match, Titus O'Neil decided to get in the ring, blowing that fucking whistle. And Ryback wasn't having that, so boot to the chest. And then he got shell shocked. Now, if you heard what happened in the Survivor Series, or seen or heard what happened on Monday Night Raw, you know that Ryback wants to get his hands on those three NXT nobodies, and of course, CM Punk still. So he's going to trash everyone in his path to get to those four assholes. On to the second match of the night, our truth once again going head to head with US Champion Antonio Cesaro. Now after his loss to Cesaro at Survivor Series, R-Truth was pretty much looking for some retribution. Now after scouting Cesaro last this past Monday, I believe, on Monday Night Raw, he felt he was he was ready to get back at him. So here we go for the night. Now this was a pretty quick match though. I wasn't too happy about that. I was hoping it would go longer because I like our truth. So, so they're going at it. Cicero goes for the neutralizer. He gets countered, and out of nowhere, our truth nails him with little Jimmy, picking up the victory. After this match, we see the arrival of former world champion Sheamus. And he's still fuming from what happened at Survivor Series. Now, for those of you who don't know what happened at Survivor Series, Big Show got himself intentionally disqualified to retain the title. And But Sheamus did pick up the victory by DQ. Now, Booker, who was upset about what happened not only last Friday night on SmackDown with the parking lot fight, but also at Sheamus for um, attacking Big Show with the chair. About 31 times he was he hit the big show with the chair. So basically, Booker T wanted Sheamus to take the night off. So he gave him a spot in his special little skybox. Now, before their little confrontation came to an end, Booker T made a big announcement for TLC. Sheamus, since the big show did intend to get himself disqualified, Sheamus will be getting his rematch at T. LC, tables, ladders, and chairs for the World Heavyweight Championship against the Big Show in a chairs match. Next match of the night, the High Flyer Sankara took on the Mexican aristocrat, Alberto Del Rio. This, you know, I don't really like Del Rio. Sankara's alright. He's a High Flyer. I like to see the motherfuckers fly around, you know, doing that crazy shit. Sankara started off real big. He had everything going for him. 
And then he got slapped in the cross arm breaker and tapped out to Alberto Del Rio. Up next, as a bit of punishment for what the Big Show did at Survivor Series, intentionally harming a referee via the broke kick, the Big Show was put into a handicap match against the tag team champions, Team Hell No, Kane, and Daniel Bryan. This match, <laughs> this match was both good and it was funny to me. Because, of course, you know you got Kane and Daniel Bryan who can't get along but at the same time, they're taking like quick jabs at each other and just irritating the fuck out of each other, which makes them a pretty good combination. So Daniel Bryan started the match against the Big Show, and of course he was getting tossed around like a rag doll. And then Kane got in, and Kane went head to head with the Big Show, jab for jab, boot for boot, all that. And if Kane was about to deliver a choke slam, he was ready for the choke slam. Ready and ready and ready. And then, of course, Daniel Bryan has to tag himself in. So he tries to slap the big show in the label in the oh I'm sorry, not the label lock, the yes lock. Or is it no lock now? Eh, either one. So Kane, of course, is annoyed that again Daniel Bryan tags himself into the match when he had it won. So Kane starts to make his way up the ramp because he's like, fuck this. So the Big Show forces his way out of the of the yes lock or the no lock, whichever fuck one it is, and delivers a massive choke slam, giving him the victory over the tag team champions. Afterwards, Kane came back down to the ring. Of course, was going, what the fuck, Daniel? I had to match one. You, you fucked everything up. What the hell? Big Show was about to deliver a KO punch to Kane. It Kane counters. Grips him by the throat. They get into this choke slam war. Who's gonna win it? Who's gonna choke slam who? And it looked like Kane was about to get choke slammed. Daniel Bryan saves the day by kicking the Big Show in the back of the leg. And Kane delivers a massive big boot, sending the giant out of the ring. So as the giant makes his way up to the ramp, he decides to, you know, try to piss off Sheamus. I'm talking about their upcoming match at TLC. And he said to Seamus, Have you ever thought, if you think to yourself for one minute that you're going to be facing a giant who has a chair now? And that's a pretty bad combination. Big Show's got some force behind him as it is, but when he's swinging a weapon, ugh, duck to cover. But Seamus, he ain't scared. He ain't scared at all. Next up, Intercontinental Championship title match. Kofi Kingston defending against Damien Sandow. Damien Sandow picked up a victory over um, Kofi Kingston last Friday before the pay-per-view when the Survivor Series teams of Team Foley and Team Ziggler separately went head-to-head in separate matches. Um, so this match, I gotta say, this match was pretty good. It was by far my favorite match of the night. Well, no, I'm not going to say that. It was one of them. I had two favorite matches tonight. Two very good matches tonight, above all of them. And this was one of them. Um, back and forth fights. Back and forth. Oh, and Wade Barrett was doing commentary, gloating pretty much the entire time. Of, it doesn't matter who's going to win this match. When they go against me, I'm going to be the winner. Come no champion. Blah, blah, blah. Barrett barrage this. Blah, blah, blah. Boom, this. Boom, that. Whatever. So as it looked like Damian Sandow was going to pick up the victory, Kofi delivers the boom drop and ends it with the trouble in paradise retaining the Intercontinental Championship. On to the main event of the evening. The Viper, Randy Orton, took on the show off Dolph Ziggler. Now, apparently they say Dolph Ziggler has been picking up steam lately to the shit he's done this past week. His victory at Survivor Series, his attack on John Cena earlier this week, and his victory over the Miz on main event. So to hell what? Dude, you're gonna have to do more than that to even matter. You're Mon- Mr. Money in the Bank, so what? So what? Every time you try to cast that damn thing in, you've either got your ass dropped or you decide to pussy out. What the fuck dude? Edge didn't even have that much fucking trouble. Fuck Daniel Bryan didn't even have that much trouble. He only had to do it once. 
Granted, he did it against the Big Show after a fucking match against Mark Henry. But hey, it is what it is. So, this was my favorite match of the night. Randy Orton versus Dolph Ziggler. As much as I hate Dolph Ziggler, and I really hate Dolph Ziggler, this was a good match. Back and forth. Neither one wanted to let up. But of course, you know Randy had the upper hand most of the time. He delivered that uh, the DDT, that patented DDT, spike DDT from the second row. Wow! Delivered a superplex. Wow! But as a way for the RKO, Ziggler fucking snuck around and rolled up the Viper, Viper for the one, two, three. Ziggler picked up the victory. Now, at the end of this match, as Ziggler's crawling out of the ring like a little pussy, Ricardo Rodriguez and Alberto Del Rio attempt to storm the ring, and for his efforts, Rodriguez gets an RKO, and Del Rio is standing on the apron like, oh shit, I uh, take it back, I'm going to and as Ziggler makes his way up to the ramp, he gets caught from behind by Cena and slaps the STFU on him. And he's screaming like a little bitch in the closing moments of the show. So all in all, I give tonight's episode a four and a half out of five. So four, four, six, four, four and a half. I keep going like this for four, four and a half by five. <laughs> but, um, so yeah. Hopefully, on Monday, we'll figure out what the fuck the deal is with these loser-ass dudes from NXT fucking with Ryback. Um, let's see where else. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I think that's the only major... Oh, of course, what more bullshit can Vicky and Dolph Ziggler dig up about the whole AJ scandal? Ugh. Boo. That's all I can say. That's a crappy storyline to me. I'm sorry. It's it's dumb. It makes no sense. Ugh. So. This has been Viewers Show 2013. The Real Super Power. Free of mine. As you can see, I am still without my co-host. He is elsewhere with family for the weekend so if you're lucky you'll be getting a couple episodes from me um and hopefully on Sunday if he comes back we'll reunite and we will have ourselves another show for you guys but I will try my damnedest to bring you guys some good shit until then it's a one man band for now you guys Okay, so bear with me. I'm not used to doing this shit on my own. I'm nervous, okay? Look at my face. I'm scared. You guys, okay? You, you, you gotta cut me some slack, alright? So, <laughs> but yeah. I'll try my best to give you guys some good shit. So, I hope you've enjoyed Friday Night's Smackdown review for November the 23rd. I hope you guys all had a good Thanksgiving. I hope you guys stuffed down some turkey and some yams and some mac and cheese and some greens and, and some mashed potatoes and some biscuits and some gravy. Yummy. Because I know damn well I did. So, you guys have a good night. This has been Viewer's Choice 2013, The Real People's Power. For your mind, saying if you're not down with that, I got two words for you. Suck it. <laughs>